guess what I'm doing? If you guys watched my last vlog, I totally mentioned that I bought the wrong hair color and was not the shade I wanted it to be, even though it looked super sick and I have no qualms about it. My hair has now faded, not entirely back to normal, um, but it's been like a month and a bit maybe since I dyed my hair. So this is the color it is. If you haven't watched my last vlog, this is the color it was. And today, this is in theory the color it will be. Yeah, I got like a super vibrant magenta pink and today I am trying to go a little bit more baby pink. But to be fair, my hair is pretty baby pink to begin with. Um, the weird thing about how my hair faded is that only the top layer faded. Like I find the bottom layer is still pretty magenta. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this. I really don't know how much this is gonna show up because like when I dyed my hair and like I mean it was a completely different shade of blonde so much more vibrant you could like really really see it in my hair and like, I don't want to touch it because I took my gloves off but like it's barely changed colors so I don't this is like leftover from my virgin pink I don't know if the frosé is gonna do it on my hair so we'll see okay see it a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna cross our fingers. I'm going to probably leave this in for like an hour. I know that's so much longer than what is on the bottle, but I found that was what worked for me for a more vibrant color. And then I'm gonna blow dry it. I could be doing it completely wrong, but uh, that's what the internet told me to do. Okay, I just showered. Ow, I'm literally ripping through my hair. I don't know how much more pink it is than it was at the beginning. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna blow dry it and see. Okay, so this is the result after the first time I dyed it. I just blow dried it. Um, but I'm gonna do it again. When I did my virgin pink hair color, like the last hair color, um, it was patchy so I dyed it again. And then the second time I dyed it, the vibrance was like, so much more through the roof and I don't know if it's like something that's recommended to like just do it twice um but I'm gonna do it I literally guys I haven't dyed my hair since like grade 9 in high school and I'm 25 so like it's been it's been a hot second since I dyed my hair my hair is super healthy so like me doing this it's not overly damaging to my hair because my hair is literally like it doesn't know what damage is anymore at this point <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's uh, get to round two. Maybe I'll just do this and then by the time I put my hand, you will see what my hair looks like. If I remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is how it turned out. I ended up not having enough of the frosé color left, so I mixed in the first color that I used, which was virgin pink, and then I put a crap load of conditioner in there, which my hair feels so soft right now. So it's not like the most vibrant color, and it's not exactly the color I was going for. It doesn't, like, it looks pretty good, now that I'm actually looking at it. I'm going to curl it. Tonight I have a live show going on with the Overhyped Book Club. We're talking about Crescent City. By the time that you watch this vlog, that will be out if you feel like going to watch the live show. Fortunately, obviously it won't be live, but yeah. So I like just finished in time to curl my hair and then go on, but I'm pretty impressed with this color. It looks, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm so sorry. It looks like more, I think it's the frosé that it makes it look a lot more like peachy almost. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's so patchy though. Like look the underside of my hair or this patch, which is of course still the vibrantness from when I first dyed it. But underneath it's almost like a brownie color. Honestly, I think a lot of the hair dye problems, I wouldn't even call them problems because I mean I like my hair, um, that happened today were just because my hair was not as blonde as it was when I first dyed them. So obviously starting with a lighter base makes it stand out a lot more. So yeah, I feel like I look like like orangey a little bit. It's gonna wash out so quickly. Like the last time my virgin pink color washed out like so much within the first wash and then like so much. Like I believe it lasted, I mean you guys saw at the beginning of the video, it was not like totally out but it pretty much lasted like a month that I still had pink in my hair. So 
I let my room get super dirty, so let's take two seconds and do a little cleaning transition. All of these clothes that I've literally just tossed down here. And I guess maybe it's time to clean up this desk. But my closet is for another video. That is its own entity that can be done all by itself. Oh my god, that is literally a video's worth of a job. And I already kind of organized this in one of my other videos, and already it is, uh, it seems some better days. So, yeah, get ready for a round two video of a closet clear out and clean. Okay, before I go any further, um... Anyone else is acne acting up right now? Like, I haven't had this bad of acne since I was in high school, and I'm 25 now. It's been a hot, like, 10 years or so. Um, it's so bad, and I want to say that it's, like, bad because quarantine is, like, giving us anxiety and maybe it's like the stress that's like producing a lot of acne um but it's probably the fact that i'm eating like absolute shit right now and my skin's letting me know it's not so let's put some cover up on before i get into this i just realized this whole video so far has been me putting my hand to my camera and doing transitions um sorry about that i will not do such aggressive transitions the like remainder of this vlog uh okay i just put on foundation and what i'm gonna do now guys is that i got a box of stuff from glossier um so i'm kind of gonna do a mini haul just because i'm not i don't know i'm not a beauty channel i can a hundred percent disclaim that like i don't i feel like i don't know how to do makeup the way that especially some youtubers out there know how to do their makeup but it is like a hobby of mine to do my makeup. I literally have no reason to do my makeup today. It is a random Tuesday in quarantine, but I do want to try out some of the products I got. So I guess it's not like a face full of Glossier thing I'm about to do right now, but I am going to show you what I got and then put it on my face. So yeah. First thing I'm going to start out with and show you is that I got the Glossier Body Hero. I uh, haven't used it yet, even though I obviously just got out of the shower, but I am totally going to use it and let you guys know what's up. It's like a oily body wash. Apparently it's good for eczema, which is something I have. Um, and I've never tried a body oil kind of shower gel thing, so I'm excited. I I think the number one complaint though is that it smells weird, so can I even open it up? <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm gonna open it up. I don't think it smells weird. Mm. By the way, guys, I know my last scene was me dyeing my hair the last time you like actually saw my face. Um, and yeah, like it, I think because, you'll see it when it dries, I will totally let it dry, but I think because I, like, dyed it on top of my already dyed hair, that, like, the dye itself, even though I did it twice, it took for, like, the first day, but the second I showered, like, it didn't actually, like, cling to my hair, so it just, like, all came out in the shower, so it literally faded so much so quickly. And that's cool. At this point, I am just, like, ready to be blonde again and not just have, like, a tinge of pink hair, which is what I'm living right now. Okay, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna do my eyebrows, because they're following me right now. I bought the boy brow, which is apparently Glossier's, like, most famous thing. Actually, I think this is, like, the first product I've ever seen them advertise. I got it in blonde, so I'm kind of curious color-wise. I was a blonde and having blonde eyebrows. Eyebrow pencils are so hard because, like, Anastasia's one, which is the one, like, I originally used. I'm so sorry if you're not blonde and I'm going on a tangent right now. But Anastasia Brow Wiz, I used it and it was, like, so orange and I used it for so long. It was, like, my introduction to, like, drawing on my eyebrows. And then for, like, the longest time, I switched to the Benefit Goof Proof Brow and I've been, like, super content with that and I have quite a bit of Benefit products. So I'm testing out the brow boy brow and the brow flick of Glossier today just because I'm like super curious of like if it'll actually be good. 
It's literally like a marker that you draw on your eyebrows with. I'm excited to actually try these out. Yeah, I am going to need to get close to my mirror though. So sorry for the terrible filming. Angle. Okay, it's not orangey, which is good. I can like barely see it, but that's cool. <laughs> I was watching other people's videos about glossy before I made a purchase just because I like to be uh, informed about what I'm buying. I love YouTube videos, especially makeup wise. Um, and I have to say that people made such a good point when they said that Glossier is like when you're already pretty and you just want to like enhance your features. Like this boy brow, some people like only will use the boy brow and like that's it. And that's all they'll use for the brows. Um, but I'm just using it to like shape my eyebrows a little bit. I don't know if I should have done that after I drew on my brows, but I usually do it before. So we will see. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Oh, I should let these dry a little bit. Okay, while I let those dry, um, I'll show you how I've been doing my eyes lately. I've been using, I have always used this. I've used this since I was literally like started using makeup in grade seven or something. I will always dry, draw my waterline in underneath my eye. But lately, I haven't just been doing that. Lately, I've been doing the flick. Yeah. You could probably tell by the pictures I've been taking lately or the makeup I had when I was dyeing my hair. But yeah, I literally just take it along the bottom and then flick her out. And since my eyebrows are still drying, I go in with my Naked 2 Basics palettes, which by the way, for like not having that orange tinge in your eyeshadows, the Naked palette changed my life for having like browns that are like a more grayy undertone instead of like an orgy undertone. So I will take primal, I think, and then literally just line underneath it, almost like I'm doing it as like eyeliner. So I take it and then I flick it out underneath the white line that I just drew on. Ta -da. Cool, see how it's already kind of like, you know, Bella Hadid in my face. I totally saw this trend on TikTok and that's why I do it now. Am I going to continue my eyes right now and finish it or am I going to do my eyebrows? I feel like I'm flicking back and forth. Guys, doing your makeup while on camera is actually kind of nerve wracking. So I'm going to go back to my eyebrows and draw them on. Again, I'm sorry for the angle of this. I don't really understand how people film with like their mirror and their camera, but I will try to crop it to the best of its ability so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Oh my god, this is so weird. It's like a- literally a marker. I could, like, pluck my eyebrows today, but I'm not gonna do that. Do I shake it to make it more? Like, this is good. Um, but I just feel like not enough product is coming out, and I don't- like, there's not, like, a thing to push for more product to come out. Oh, unless I twist it. No. I don't twist it. I can definitely see why people buy this product specifically for the feathered brow look. God, I feel like that just took five minutes to do my eyebrow. Uh, and I'm not even happy with it. Mm, okay. I feel like this is something I would use alongside my benefit brow, like goof proof brow. Like I would do my eyebrow and then use this to like add in different hairs and like texturize it. Okay. Uh, I am not feeling this. Do you have those days when you feel ugly? I feel ugly today. Okay. This is what it looks like right now, but I'm gonna go in and like fill it out with my benefit. I have to say, just using these two products for brows, uh, it was an absolute nightmare. I could feel like I'm doing this wrong. Like I could feel like this product is maybe only meant to be used for like feathered brows or something, like not actual everyday brows. Um, but as a blonde who needs to draw on her eyebrows, not a huge fan of it. Uh, yeah. Like, they look so bad. Okay, this is after I tried to fix them up a bit and I really think that I'm just gonna have to spend my day just hating my eyebrows. The one good thing about quarantine is that no one's gonna even know. No one's gonna see this besides you guys watching the vlog, so 
okay, uh, after I'm gonna go back in, I know this is so all over the place that I've done my eyebrows and then I went to do my eyeshadow and I'm showing you what I bought at Glossier. But there is a method in my brain to this madness. Um, right now, I'm gonna go back in with my Naked palette and grab the two lightest colors and really just splat that all over my eye. It would make sense to do this part before I um, drew the bottom on underneath it because sometimes it like gets on the white and blots it out. But I forgot, so. I seriously think my skin looks so bad right now. Like I think I'm just having a one man pity party a little bit and like really hate myself today, but I find, and like I'm sure I'm gonna edit this footage and be like, what were you talking about? Um, but I find my skin just looks like dull and dry and sad and oily all at the same time. But that's okay. It's not, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna pick up a sort of taupey, like the middle brownie color, and then just, what, put that in my crease? Is that what it's called? And like blend it out just so it looks like my eyes just have a bit more definition. Uh, I did not mean for this vlog to be a like, get ready with me, but let's get ready with me for nowhere. By the way, if you watched my book video the other day and you know what books I'm reading in quarantine, I'm on the last Twilight book. Okay, now we're done with the eyeshadow, except we're not done with the eyes, obviously. I'm not just gonna leave them like this. But before I move on to putting on mascara, I am going to show you more things I got in my Glossier haul. So I didn't forget that this is kind of a haul. I got the different cloud paints. Guys, I am obsessed. Like, if I had to pick, like, a holy grail product or like a product I recommend to everyone. It is the Glossier Cloud Paints. Oh my god, I love them so much. Literally the fact that you can use them as like anything. Like they're just face paint in a way. Um, I always put on my Glossier, maybe? Okay, I got this in Puff and I got it in Dusk, but I already have it in Storm. Storm is like my OG one. It was the first one that I bought and then I really like the color and it's like all used up, so I bought another one of Storm. <laughs> um, and I've been using, what's this, Haze. I've been using Haze so much lately because it's like a magenta color and it was the same color as my hair, like it still kind of is in some places, like the same color as my hair. So I was literally matching my hair to my blush to my lips. Uh, yeah, so that was, it's a good look in quarantine. So I knew at some point I would buy even more cloud paints and today was that day. Not gonna use Dusk today. I am going to use Puff, which is like a really cute pinky one and I'm genuinely surprised I didn't buy Puff sooner. So what I do is literally splatter all over my face. Oh, did I use too much? I think I used too I don't know why I'm singing today. Am I going crazy? Yes. Okay, so I'll, <laughs> that's so much. Do I have a tissue? Maybe I'll get a tissue. We'll wipe you off a little bit. Oh no, I should be okay. Okay, I literally, <sighs> it's an interesting color. Oh no. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time doing my makeup today? I literally splat it like it's blush, um, because I guess it is blush. <laughs> And then across the bridge of my nose, of course. And yeah, it looks like I put on way too much. And it looks like that because I did put on way too much. <laughs> Oops. Whatever. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, this color is really nice. It kind of looks like, like my natural blush would look like. Like if I blushed across my face and over my nose all at the same time, it would probably be this color. So I think that's a really good sign. It means that Puff is a super close to my skin tone. Um, God, I have acne today. This is such a little one man pity party. I'm sorry you guys have to be a part of my pity party, but you're watching my video, so you're gonna be a part of my pity party with me. Um, and then I take Puff and I just put it on my lips. Hmm, do I like it on my lips? Actually, it's not a color I would normally wear. I don't hate it. I like the idea of like matching my cheeks to my lips. It's what I do with Storm and it's what I do with Haze, the other two colors. But Puff is so, it's so light that I never really wear this sort of like light nudie color on my lips. 
so I might change that. I'll wear it for now, and by the end of my makeup look, I will make my decision. But I'm so happy to have this little cloud paint collection now. Look how cute. Look. What I'm gonna do next is take this liquid eyeliner, because it's part of this eye look I've been doing. Um, I take this liquid eyeliner, which by the way, NYX liquid eyeliner. It's like the NYX epic ink liner. This sucks. <laughs> Um, I've had it, I've owned it forever because I used to wear liquid liner all the time in high school and then I stopped wearing it for years, but I always just like to like have it. So this is probably like, it's probably like a year old. Like to be fair, I just, it could be a good liner and maybe it just doesn't age well because it leaks a lot when I try to do it. So I go in with my eyeliner. You guys can kind of see I have the line I drew on the bottom. I have the white line and then the eyeliner. I just tried to... It's gonna be so hard to do. I tried to meet up um, on top of the white line. Obviously not perfect, but considering that there is this huge anxiety that comes out of trying to draw your liquid liner on while you're on camera, I think it's okay. The trick to doing your liquid eyeliner is um, leaving your mouth open when you do it and looking stupid. <laughs> Are they even? Absolutely not. That's okay. And before I go in with my mascara, um, I'm just gonna take that same brown that I had earlier. And again, this is just stuff I've randomly learned from looking at people on TikTok, is that I'm gonna do the line here so that it extends my eye into a bit more long eye. <laughs> The fox eye look, I guess. Oh, I feel like the eyeliner and mascara just like ties everything in so nicely. I figured out how I would go about changing my lip color. It's by showing you the rest of the things that I got in my Glossier haul. I have a lovely little obsession with the bomb.coms. Actually, I think at this point, I have tried every flavor of bomb.coms and I can say, actually, the birthday one is one I'm trying today. It's my newest one that I haven't tried. Um, I also bought the berry and the cherry one, um, but I know that these two are my all-time faves because they have like a little tint to them. So let's put on the berry. The berry is my all-time fave and I keep losing it or getting my bomb.com literally stolen out of my pocket when I went to Prague. <laughs> I keep buying it and I don't know how long I will be able to keep this for before it evades me again, but I just like that it's like the teeniest little tint. Maybe I'll put the cherry on top of it. I'm just gonna like build it up. <laughs> I would have to say that of all the bomb.coms that I bought, the cherry and berry are obviously my favorite. Literally just said that. My least favorite, actually it's kind of growing on me right now, but I don't think I would repurchase it, is the rose. Um, it's just something about it that's like the tint is so so minimal and it just like Is not my favorite smell of the bunch too. Let me add some birthday bomb.com on. Oh my god This literally smells like birthday cake. I'm so Wow, okay Wow, I can't believe it took me this long like this is like my third glossy order and it took me this long to buy my favorite product in my new favorite smell. I did get a sticker because Glossier always gives you stickers with things and what I love is that they come in these packages and since I travel so much, maybe not recently, although right now I would be in Georgia, um, which is a place I would not want to be right now if like, you know, like coronavirus wise, but it's a place I would be right now. Um, my, I would have like flown out on Friday and have been on a girls trip with my friends. It's totally cool. It's fine. Whatever. There's worse things that are happening right now than my trip being canceled. But yeah, these bags are like the perfect bags for carry-on, liquid bags, um, and makeup bags and stuff. So I reuse the crap out of these. And they're like bubble wrap, so like none of your makeup moves around or anything that you're putting in these bags for when you're traveling. So like, these are just worth the order itself. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna blow dry and curl my hair for fun since I already did my makeup and um... What am I gonna do today? Oh my god. Maybe I'll do a photo shoot just for like a reason why I did my makeup. But this is the finished look guys and like I do feel less crappy about myself now. Makeup shouldn't be the reason for that. But today it's allowed to be. 
Has anyone else just been super into watching trashy movies all of quarantine? Because I am currently deciding not to do a photo shoot, mainly because I'm not feeling my hair today or myself today, but that's okay. And instead, I am watching LOL starring Miley Cyrus in her prime. Um, yeah, it's like so cringy and whatever, but it is also not the first cringy movie I've watched in quarantine. I've watched, I mean, it's not, it's not cringy. I've been watching a lot of really like rom com girl movies. I started actually the last time I hung out with anyone, which was like two months ago at this point. Uh, I watched John Tucker Must Die and then it is sp spinballed into, is that the right expression? Into watching like Freaky Friday and 10 Things I Hate About You, which I've never watched before and actually really loved. And I watched Princess Diaries. My friend sent me this master post of like girly movies. Maybe I will insert photos or put like copy and paste what uh, the master post. And I really feel like by the end of quarantine, I might have gone through all the really cringy or maybe even not cringy, all the really overly rom-com girly movies. I do think I am going to have a Fifty Shades of Grey marathon because probably, maybe not one of the few, like, they did gross a billion dollars or something. But I'm one of the few people who really enjoy the movies, so I'm gonna probably have a solo movie marathon, which I actually love doing. I did it with The Hunger Games not too long ago, um, and adore them. I adore them so much. By the way, Catching Fire is my favorite Hunger Games movie, and you guys cannot convince me otherwise because it is the best one and the best most well done one. My dad just made me some peppermint tea and I'm gonna drink my tea, watch this lol Miley Cyrus movie which I've never seen before um, and then maybe talk to some of my friends on zoom. We did have a workout planned but like that's so not happening. 